<coughs> Evening folks, Jeff from RV Diagnostics, working on a refrigerator here. Uh, I already showed you a lot of stuff on it. I think it's the RM2652 or something of that nature, but it's Dometic. So what we got here is this little over temp switch. If you look in the middle, it has a reset button. So I'm going to show you the actual part number here. Let me turn. So it's a M130 M7 1413. I think it's 130 degrees. It goes right about here. So if you measure this, it's about four inches. You can do this on Norcold too. So what this does, it gets pop riveted there. So B plus comes in from the coach or the RV somewhere, chassis batteries or comes out, goes here, goes into one of these, and then the other one goes straight to the board. You see it right there. 12 volt power supply. All right. So I'm gonna put you on hold. I'm gonna pop rivet it. I got these little pop rivets right here, and a pop rivet gun right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You gotta pick the right size. There's different hole size or thickness of the pop rivet shaft. So I'll put that in there, and all you do is squeeze that. I'll put it, hold on. There you go. So I'll put you on pause. I'm gonna stick this up here like this, and squeeze this handle, and it'll pop. Operator. So I'm going to put you on pause. All right, so I got to put the other pop ribbon in it. But basically, like I said, your battery positive comes through this connector right here. It goes over to here. It don't matter what side you put it, it's non polarity. All right. And when this chimney here, whether propane or 120 heating element, which I already did a video on. It gets too hot in here, this will pop this little breaker out, thermal breaker, and you have to reset it. Or but find the cause why it got hot. So this is all brand new unit. I showed you what I did with it to put it in. So I'm gonna put the other pop rivet in here. And then I'm gonna take this wire, which is the feed wire, all right, and put it on this side right here. And that's it. All right, so that's a simple little thing. You could actually install this on a Norcold uh, to help you feel a little safer. Remember, it resets right in there. A lot of people don't look for that. There we go. I got the camera. So this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. All right, that's a simple little procedure to put in. You got the part number. It's a thermal overheat switch for the chimney pipe or boiler burner assembly. What has the propane? In it I already showed you a video of that and then I showed you a video of the 120 heating ML how to troubleshoot it, how many amps it's supposed to pull each one's a little different all right thank you very much this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics put in a temperature over temp switch thermal manuals resetting uh, switch on the chimney pipe of an RV propane electric refrigerator